Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. Today, I released a song with my best bud Pixel Wax called Monkey Drum. Sounds like this. Wowzers, you can check out the full song by clicking on the link in the video description. And in today's lesson, I'm going to be breaking down how I made some of the wonky wumpuses and other cool sounds in the track. Let's get started. Okay, so check it. Okay, here it comes. Soloing out the synth track here. And if I close the synth group and open up my effects, you see we have a couple layers of foley here. I'm taken directly from Uncle Joe's basement. Looks like there's a bunch of rats in there. <gasps> okay, here we go. And now begins pure sedation. Check it out. The centerpiece of this section of the song are the sedated roads here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all these plugins by hitting Command A and hitting 0 to deactivate them. Now, the centerpiece of this sound is the Lounge Lizard. A very nice plugin. But here's the problem, this never shuts the fuck up, and if you open it up, there's no ADSR envelope I can use to turn down the sustain. So whenever you run into this issue, it's okay, all you gotta do is feed it some horse tranquilizer. And the way I do this is by turning on the utility, and also using Ableton's Max for Live envelope to map to the utility gain knob, and therefore create my own ADSR. So. I could just map this to any parameter just by clicking the map button here. I'll select the gain. And now this envelope corresponds to the gain knob and allows you to add an ADSR to any VST that doesn't have it for whatever fucking reason. These bastards. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm going to calm down now. So I'm going to add some Valhalla Shimmer, you know, just to smooth out my anger. And, you know, some Camel Crusher to bring it back up again. Along with some EQ to take out some of the low end. Okay. That's very nice. And now it's time to talk about this offensively wavy synth. Now let's go ahead and take off all the effects again. Okay, so nobody can deny the waviness, but how do we turn it into something offensive? Well, here I have an audio effect rack where I've divided signal into two chains here. We got the dry chain at the bottom and on the wet chain, I have a nice bit of grain delay here that's creating the effect. Um, for those of you who don't know, grain delay just acts as a regular delay, but you can transpose the delayed signal up and down, which is very scary most of the time. But if you just put it uh, up an octave, 12 semitones, it's a very beautiful sound. Now, I don't want to offend too many people, so I'm going to turn the auto filter on just to take out some of the high frequencies. And take out the low one just in case. I'm scared of that and mix it in with the dry signal, and here we go. Very beautiful. Again, I just add some Valhalla Shimmer to smooth it out, create some more space, OTT, because why not, and EQ to take out the low end. Oh, wowzers. <sighs> okay, now it's time for Big Chungus. Oh, shit! Let's slow down. I'm going to close the sense folder, open up my big wumpus. And oh my god, that's quite a quite a bit of wumpus going on here. So let's break it down. Now, a fair amount of these wumpus sounds I've stolen from Blake Scowron sample pack. Blake is a very talented producer. He was the man who created this crunchy wumpus right here um, and inspired me to create some of these glitches. I'll be linking to his sample pack in the video description. Don't you worry, you can steal from it yourself. Now, of course, there's many wumpuses to talk about here, but I just want to focus on this cute little wumpus right here at the bottom. Okay, it's the little wumpus that could. Oh, so cute. It's trying. Okay, it's never going to be a big Skrillex wumpus, but that's okay. All right, let's take off all these effects and see what's going on. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So what I have here is a wavetable set to the harmonic series uh, preset. And if we go over to the matrix, I only have two mappings here. I've envelope three messing with the oscillator one position, so basically dragging up this waveform to add a little bit more harmonics there. And also envelope two set to the pitch bend setting to make it sound like a nice little Tweety Bird. Okay, boring. Tweety. 
Now, obviously, we want to we want to make it a little bit cuter, so I'm going to use the frequency shifter here. Now, I'll be going in depth on what exactly the frequency shifter does in a future Patreon exclusive video. Oh boy! Basically, if we turn this frequency knob up and down, we can get all sorts of interesting timbres out of this little Tweety Bird here. And I've settled on minus five kilohertz about. Just to add a few extra frequencies here, I'm using the erosion audio effect on the sign setting. Basically creates like a bit crushing effect. I can move out this yellow button left and right to add more texture here. Okay, it's a nice little Tweety Bird. And finally some OTT to bring it out and EQ to take out the low end, just like before. That's a cute little Wumpus. Okay, so I'm gonna close my Wumpus folder for now and focus on my big booty bass. Now again, there's plenty of bass layers to choose from here. Uh, starting off, we got another Wumpus from the Blake Scowron sample pack. Thank you, Blake. But the core of this bass group is a sick 808 I made. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the effects again. I'm gonna take off all these extra pesky oscillators and focus on the core of the sound, which is oscillator A. Now, unless you're listening on some crazy ass focal speakers, you probably didn't hear shit. And that's because while it's got plenty of sub, there are no harmonics in this 808. So let's go ahead and bring in oscillator B. Right now I have operator on the default Tetris shape, which means that oscillator B is going to modulate A, which in turn will carry the signal to our ear holes. Thank you, oscillator A. Now check it out. With B, I have it set to another sine wave and I've changed the course to two to add some extra harmonics. We can make it more obvious by turning it up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's scary. Let's put it back down. I want sweet booty bass territory. So that's nice. But another really sick, but you know, kind of subtle, very important technique is to adjust the phase of oscillator B. This is something I copied from my boy Copycat. And if you just offset it to say 30%, you'll notice that the 808 sounds ever so slightly heavier. Oh boy, Copycat, you're the man. Next, we turn on oscillator C just for a few more extra harmonics up there. Okay, nice some nice some nice extra phalluses up this frequency spectrum here. And that's basically it. Now any SoundCloud producer worth their clout knows that we need to make our 808s as wide as humanly possible. So let's go ahead and use serum effects here. I'm using the hyper dimension effect. I've turned the hyper all the way down. I'm focusing purely on the dimension. If you want a free version of this, you can download the dimension expander for free off of beautiful woman Steve Dudu's website. Um Okay, now I like a wide 808 as much as the next guy, but come on, it's just a bit too wide down in the booty range. So I've turned on the utility and put it on bass mono. So everything underneath this frequency gets put right back smack in the center. I've added an EQ to just boost the booty bass some more. Some saturation, you'll crunch it up. And multiband to even out the signal. And that's it. Wonderful. Okay, that's a nice big bass of booty eight. Okay, we blew a big chungus, now it's time for the refractory period. And would you look at that? We swapped out the 808 for this French electric. Now let's see what's going on here. Again, I'm going to turn off all the effects. Oh boy, this is one's a doozy. Now the core of the sound is this free electric bass that I got off of the guitar and bass Ableton pack. You can get this if you just go to your packs and hit get more packs at ableton.com. I'm just using the electric bass, turning the articulate all the way up for that extra plucky flavor. Now the real core of this sound is the vocoder. It's kind of unconventional, but I notice it adds a bit of a Daft Punk talky vibe to it. You can also adjust the formant, add a little bit more character to the sound. Just make sure the carrier isn't on noise, otherwise you'll get this. Oh, Jesus, it's scary. Okay. Back to modulator. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight, but that's okay. Next up, to widen up this electric bass, instead of using the dimension expander, I'm using a free plugin called the Multiply by Acon Digital. It's just a nice little chorus. Widen up the bass, turns it from this to this. Next up, I got amp on the blue setting. Add some crunch. Uh, now I'm using color, which is a free Max for Live RC20 ripoff because I'm cheap. 
multiband compression to even out the sound. Put that booty bass in mono, take out some of the gunk down low, and finally I have a color limiter to squeeze the sound. It's just like some spandex, some shapewear, and you know, increase that presence of the plug there. Okay, so that's very French. That's some baguette bass right there. Okay. Now up on top, I have some very beautiful guitar going on here. Let's go ahead and solo it out. Oh, wowzers. That's so dreamy. Okay. I'm going to minimize these. Again, turn off all the effects. I'm so small now. So this is from the same Ableton pack, uh, guitar and bass. I'm using the guitar soft tremolo preset. Again, with the multiply to widen up the sound. OTT to squash it. Pedal to add some distortion. Valhalla for that beautiful ethereal space. Oh boy, I'm gonna cream myself. And then, if you look back to our offensively wavy synth earlier, I'm using the same grain delay patch to add some sparkle. Again, some multiband to squeeze the shit out of the sound. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's time to really contemplate what we've done here. Pixel's coming at it with some of these beautiful synths. Don't ask me how he made them. Okay, he's probably squatting out in some abandoned disco club in Florida somewhere. Okay, here comes Disco Derek prancing down. Okay, here we go. Now, I would say the core of this section relies on these stank stabs here. Now, I'm going to turn like these 10 million OTTs off and we'll see what we're working with. Okay, so some nice subtle chords here. I'm using the Mini Moog original here to make the sound, but honestly, you could use any synth with the sawtooth wave. It's no problem. I just turned the filter down low and added a little bit of chorus to the sound. Some OTT to brighten it up. And when one OTT isn't enough, you just add another one, you dingus. Okay, now it's super in your face. I'm gonna add some erosion to crush the sound. Get it that 8-bit big crushing disco duck effect. Now, I wanted a little bit of space on these stank stabs here, but I didn't want this goddamn shimmer to carry out for the rest of the song. If we turn the mix up, it just never ends. So what I've done is actually automate the mix volume here. You can see that right here. So that we get a little bit of space for each chord and then it immediately closes back down. Okay, now we've added some OTTs some more. So we have a total of three OTTs. If you ask my humble penny, it's not nearly enough, but you know, Pixel Wax told me to slow down on that stuff. Okay. Pixel Wax is bringing the funk. Oh my god, he's so beautiful. What a beautiful man. He's got this Kevin Parker sense. Okay, now here it really comes. Okay. Now... Many people have asked me, what is the secret behind Pixel Wax's sense? I mean, how did he do this shit? Well, I'll tell you, and the answer is beautiful man Steve Simanix hooking us up with this Son Holo lead thing. Okay, looks like what we got here is just a simple sawtooth wave. If I turn the noise off, it's super wobbly. But as soon as you add some noise and let that modulate the coarse pitch here, it just makes it so much more lo fi. That's so much more character to sound. Oh, Pixel, you have great taste in presets. I love you, man. Okay, so beautiful. There's no shame in using presets, kids. It's okay. And finally, Pixel Active is a sweet lullaby. Squatting in his Florida disco lair. Thank you so much, Pixel. Wowzers. Thanks for watching. You can check out the full song by clicking on the link in the video description. And if you'd like an even deeper dive in on the track, including some advanced sound design techniques and music theory concepts, consider becoming a supporter of my Patreon. In addition to getting monthly sample packs and other goodies, patrons will also have access to a monthly Zoom hang where we all get together, hang out, have a nice time. And who knows? Maybe even Pixel Wax will be there. I'm Underbelly. Have a great day.